I'm Michelle. I'm a gynecologist here at Collage Center. I perform the ultrasounds. I'm here to talk to you today about HPV. HPV is human papillomavirus. This is actually the most common virus worldwide. In fact, in the United States, 6.2 million people are going to newly acquire HPV each year. The highest risk factor is going to be young age and multiple sexual partners. And in fact, in fact, the peak incidence is going to be from the age of 15 to 25 years of age. HPV causes warts and it also causes cancers. It's going to cause cancers of the cervix, the vagina, the labia, the anus, and we're now seeing oral cancers involved. Transmission of HPV is by skin-to-skin -skin contact. What happens is if you have intercourse with a new partner, you have up to a 50% chance, or the average of a 50% chance of acquiring HPV. That risk may be as high as 84%. You may want to know, how do you reduce the chances of getting HPV? There's only one way, and that's going to be limit your sexual partners. The best option is always going to be a mutually monogamous relationship with one partner throughout a lifetime. That is always going to be the safest for you. Other common questions that are being asked, if I get pregnant, will my baby get HPV? The answer is that a baby can get HP, HPV in their throat. They can get what's called papillomatosis and those may need to be re removed. However, that's very rare. C-sections are not protective. The other thing you need to know in pregnancy that if you do have vaginal warts, they can actually multiply and become bigger. Pregnancy is an immunocompromised state. It just simply means that your immune system decreases. So that allows the virus to take a little bit better hold. Another common question I get is if I get HPV and I'm currently in a relationship, does that mean that my partner has cheated on me? And the answer is no. HPV is going to be a lifelong infection. It could be from an earlier partner or it could be from a more recent partner, but it does not mean that there has been unfaithfulness in your partner. Another common question I get is, will condoms help protect me from HPV? A condom can help reduce the risk of getting HPV. However, a condom is only going to cover the, a portion of the penis. There will still be other parts of the penis exposed which can carry HPV and also the scrotum can be uh, infected with HPV. So there is no sure way Again, I'm going to tell you the only way is a mutually monogamous relationship for a lifetime. So reduce your sexual partners.